I was excited to be here today because the thought, the theme was, or the name of the conference is Say Yes to Your Future. And what I started thinking about, and you heard Representative Willis read about my background, and I thought about this path to becoming the first black lieutenant governor in the state of Illinois. And I realized how many times throughout this path that I've taken that I had to say yes to my future. And it required some action. It required the use of my voice. And so I wanted to talk with you just for a few minutes because I know we're closing out shortly, but I wanted to talk with you just a few minutes about the power of your voice. There is a poet named Audre Lorde, and she said something that I think is really powerful. She said these words, your silence will not protect you. Your silence will not protect you. So I thought I could talk a little bit before I get to the power of your voice. I thought I could ask, I like interactive. I know you all have been in workshops and that sort of thing, but I like interactive. So let me ask you a question. Let's talk about the times when we want to be silent. Let's talk about when we think our silence is going to protect us. So let me start by asking a question. When are we silent? Why are we silent? So you're in class, to the ones who are students, you're in class, and maybe it's math class or science, and there's a question. You know the answer but you don't want to raise your hand. Why not? Fear. Fear. Let me hear from some of the young people. Why not? Why don't you want to answer your, well, why not? What's a reason you might not want to? I'm not saying you don't that in particular, but why might a, a young girl not want to say the answer out loud? Nervous. What could you be nervous about? Getting the answer wrong. And so we say, you know what? Instead, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep quiet. So we think silence is better than being wrong. <laughs> but now let me ask the adults in the room, the women in the room, have you ever had to say something and even though you were wrong, it was OK? That you put your voice out there, you used your voice, and you took a chance, and even if you were wrong, it ended up OK? Right? So we all feel that sometimes. When we get a little nervous, should I say it? Sometimes I'm the only woman in the room. Sometimes I'm the only woman of color in the room. And it could be intimidating sometimes thinking, well, what if I say something and I'm wrong? And the key is I have to recognize that there's power in my voice, that nobody else can say what I say in the way that I say it. And it's the same for every single one of you. So what else? Let's talk about another situation when we might not want to use our voice. Has anybody, asking the young people in the room, anybody ever felt like no one cares what you have to say? Have you ever felt like that? Raise your hand if you've just been like, I have something to say, but nobody's going to care what I have to say. They don't want to hear it. Yeah, a couple people have felt like that. I've felt like that before. And so. We keep our opinions to ourselves, right, sometimes? Because who's going to care what I have to say about this topic? They don't want to hear what I have to say. They're all over there talking, and they don't want to hear what I have to say. And so what happens? Then the people don't get to hear your opinion and your perspective. And your opinion and your perspective is important. And so we have to have the courage to say, whether they want to hear it or not, I have something to say, and I'm going to say it. So that's another way that we try to use our silence to protect us. How many of you have ever felt like, and I had a couple of notes here, that you couldn't say what you wanted to say because you felt like there was no one you could trust to say it to? Raise your hand if sometimes you feel like, I don't know who I can talk to who will just accept me as I am and not judge me. Do you ever feel like that? How about some of the adults in the room? How many of you have ever felt like that? You all see that? We all have that feeling sometimes. 
that if I don't have somebody that I think will just take me judge-free zone, I'm gonna, they're gonna, I can share what's on my heart, I can tell them the feelings that I have, I can tell them something I did that maybe you even felt embarrassed about. Because if I tell them I'm worried that maybe they won't like me anymore, or they won't love me anymore, or if I tell my mom what I'm feeling, or the adult in my life what I'm feeling, then she won't look at me the same way. We've all felt like that. And so what we end up doing is we keep those things inside because we think it's just gonna go away, but guess what? It doesn't. And so I wanted to urge you all and encourage you all to recognize that the people who are here with you today and maybe some of you came and you weren't able to bring an adult today, but there's somebody, every one of you should have somebody that you can just say, look, I need you to be this person for me. Mom, I need you to be this person for me. Auntie, I need you to be this person for me. I need to know that if I tell you something that maybe I might feel bad about, I need reassurance. And moms, I'll say the same to you or aunties or whomever else, that maybe you take the step and tell them, listen, I used to tell my daughters, there's nothing you can do, nothing, that will make me stop loving you. Nothing. Well, mom, what if I do, nope, that's not gonna do it. Well, what if I come home and this is what I did, it's, yep, it's not gonna do it. So sometimes we as, as adults also have to make sure we communicate that to our young people and say, Whatever it is, it's okay for you to tell me. Because what happens, somebody, one of the young people tell me, one of the girls tell me, what happens if we don't talk about those things? We want to talk about it, but what happens if we just hold it inside? What happens to it? What happens? Somebody knows. Yeah. It builds up, right? So does anybody ever have this feeling like you could just explode sometimes because you have so much going on on the inside? Any of them? Yeah, okay. Sometimes you feel like that. So we have to have the way to use our voice. So Audre Lorde said, your silence will not protect you. You think being quiet is the way to make sure that all will just go well? It's not. You were given a voice for a reason. You were given your voice for a reason. And your voice carries power. So the only way that we can say yes to our future is to use our to use our voice. It's the way that you can say in class, maybe I don't always have it right, but I have the courage to speak out because my voice has power. And maybe they don't want to hear what I have to say, but I'm going to speak out because my voice has power. And maybe, just maybe, I'm embarrassed about what I did, but I'm going to find a trusted adult to talk with about it because my voice has power. And if I don't want to be stuck feeling like all my emotions have to be on the inside, the only thing I can do is speak out. So I just wanted to encourage you. You all are strong. You all are dynamic. You are beautiful on the inside and out. And you are powerful. You are powerful because there is no one else that's like you. And that's what gets me through. That's what got me to where I am. I say all the time, I know everybody can't take who I am. Juliana Stratton and all my personality and my quirks and my flaws and everything else. But I am who I am. And I'm going to bring that into the rooms that I go into. And I'm not going to quiet down. I'm not going to hide. I'm going to use my voice because that's the way we say yes to our future. So continue to use your voices. Continue to speak. Continue to support each other because you all know there's nothing like girl power. Supporting each other and cheering each other on and being the kind of friend that you want to have. That's how we say yes to our future. So I want to thank you for having me here today. I hope that everything you got throughout this conference is something you will take to heart 
and that you will go home knowing who you are and that your future is found in your yes. Thank you so much.